Hello friends, I hope you are fine. In this lecture, I am going to explain the topic sex determination in the honeybee. In the honeybee, a special type of determination of the gender or determination of the sex, this method is found. Actually, it is decided or it is de determined by the sets of the chromosomes received by the individuals. The different individuals which will receive the number of chromosomes or set number of sets of chromosomes on the basis of that chromosome number the sex will be decided so this type of uh, determination of the sex is called haploid diploid type of sex determination actually in the honeybee female consists of uh, full number of chromosome that is 32 and male consists of its half number that is 16 so male is known as haploid and the female is known as uh, diploid that is uh, containing the 32 number that is full number of chromosome and this one is containing only half number that is 16 number of chromosome so this type of pattern of determination of the gender is known as haploid diploid type of sex determination which is also known as a parthenogenesis or parthenocarpy friends and the honeybee uh, female honeybee may be queen or it may be worker while the male honeybee is known as drone so in this way honeybee may be drone worker or queen let's have a look on the explanation which will help you to understand the process of the determination of the sex what happens with the female and what happens with the gametes of the male so the parents female honeybee which will consist of or which will contain uh, full number of chromosome that is 2 in uh, 32 number of chromosome and hence it is uh, f uh, diploid because it is containing full number of chromosome 32 while the male honeybee drone it 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 will consist of only half number of chromosome 16 number uh, hence it is called haploid haploid so male is haploid in the honeybee and female is diploid in the honeybee because of the number of the chromosomes 32 in the female and 16 in the male so crossovering takes place in between the male and female means it it is it is taking place in between the haploid and diploid type of organisms so what happens with this female 32 uh, number of chromosomes in this cell what happens it goes for the cell division meiosis with the help of meiosis type of cell division this 32 number cell uh, 30 uh, the cell uh, which contains 32 number of chromosome it divides into two gametes so gamete formation takes place there and 32 number cell uh, uh, divides by the process of the meiosis into two gametes one gamete haploid which will contain half number of chromosome that is 16 and another gamete will also contain 16 chromosome so uh, meiosis is the process of cell division in which uh, diploid cell convert into haploid cell means 32 cell uh, the cell with the 32 chromosomes will divide into uh, 16 16 to uh, two gametes so the female gives by the process of the meiosis two gametes uh, 16 and 16 but male it is having 16 number of chromosome in its cell and it will uh, by the process of the mitosis cell division not by the meiosis cell division by the process of the mitosis type of cell division it will convert into a cell as a gamete and that cell uh, will contain the same number of chromosome because the mitosis is the process of the cell division in which the number of chromosome remains same so this cell is the gamete of the male but number of chromosome will be as it is 16 so here you can see the three gametes one from the male haploid and two from the female both are haploid then what happens with the male gamete and the female gamete the process of crossovering takes place this is the female gamete this one is the gamete from the male so crossovering takes place in between these two gamete 16 this cell 16 from with this 16 chromosome from the female and this cell this as a gamete with the 16 chromosome from the male they fuses with each other and process of fertilization takes place and the one diploid cell uh, is formed and the body is female diploid body in the number uh, in this cell the number become 32 16 from the female honeybee and 16 from the male honeybee in this way the female honeybee is uh, produced or the queen or workers are uh, produced but how the drone is produced 
this um, another gamete it directly converts into a male body without any fertilization so this uh, female gamete having the half number of chromosome with, uh, directly without a process of fertilization it becomes the male that is drawn and in this way the female and the male the drone and the queen or worker are produced in the body of the honeybee and this type of pattern of producing the gener uh, or progeny is known as parthenogenesis or parthenocarpy in this way you can understand the process of determination of the sex in the honeybee i hope you got it and uh, for the more and more lecture please subscribe my channel biology by shahzad sir and like it and comments and share it more and more see you soon in the next lecture thank you